blessing for Mother's Day. Let us pray. Loving God as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for just a moment. You know, you, you leave Father Carlos in charge, and next thing you know, the parish has a Spanish saint's name. <laughs> Even the food is better. <laughs> uh, we've been practicing in the office saying Juniper Serra, but just say Juniper Serra, it's easy. There's a parish named for a Colombian saint in West Hartford, Saint Pedro Claver, but they say Peter Claver. So you can say it in English, it's fine. Uh, your new pastor, Father Baranowski, lucky dog, uh, will begin sometime around June, by June 29th. He's coming to staff meeting tomorrow to go over the details. Uh, last time I did a transition, I asked the incoming pastor, would you like anything done? And he did. So I'm not going to ask him this time because I was exhausted. I'm not paying a rectory. <laughs> I'm going to Our Lady of Mount Carmel in Hamden. Um, and I found out two days before the trip to Ireland, so on the bus, when the news came out, uh, one of the parishioners was saying, Father, this is terrible, you're so far away. I said, oh yeah, sure, you'll go to Dublin, but you won't go to Hamden. Um, the sad part, one of the sad parts, is that I have to go to St. Joan of Arc as well to close that parish. I've never done that. There's always a learning curve in this job. Um, I came here to St. Margaret Mary's and replaced a, a fine pastor who'd been here for 30 years by the name of Father Daniel Sullivan. I go to Hamden to replace a pastor who's been there for 30 years by the name of Daniel Sullivan. <laughs> why did they choose me? That's why they chose me. 21 years ago, I promised respect and obedience and I forgot about it, but they didn't. <laughs> Um, we just say, the boss is the boss. Um, they're also making me a chaplain at Quinnipiac University, which is just like the University of Hartford, only it has a lawn. It's very nice. Uh, I continue into religious affairs. Uh, I've been given an assistant, uh, Father Matthew Gork, who's ordained one year. So Father Carlos says he's a kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Have him call me. It's true. Um, and also there at the uh, university is Father Jordan Lenhart, who I hired as chaplain for Quinnipiac when I was a director of campus ministry. And now he's my boss and I don't like it one bit. <laughs> In Ireland, we had 11 days of sunshine, and I was awake every night thinking about what the impending move makes, and all the readings kept clicking and clicking, and I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it. So I said, well, let me, let me just stop in a church and light a candle. So I go into this little Irish church in Dublin's fair city, and I light the candle and look up, and who's there? Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I said, I, I get it, I got it, all right. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, say goodbye, um, but it's part of the job description in that we, we, go, we go where we're needed, even though I want to stay where I like it. <laughs> uh, I went down undercover yesterday to see Our Lady of Mount Carmel, sunglasses, a leather jacket. I took pictures of everything. Um, so it, it'll be, it's never dull. <laughs> uh, but I will indeed uh, miss you because you've been formative for me. You're my first parish and uh, I've grown very fond of you. Um, in Ireland, uh, I took one of the parishioners uh, for a horse and buggy ride, horse and carriage, and we had stopped at Guinness to get directions. <laughs> and so I said to her, I said, you know you want to do it, go ahead, do it. So she turned around to these little children getting out of school and went like this, like the queen. <laughs> So she had a great time. We get out of the carriage, and I say to the driver, what's the name of the horse? He said, Margaret. <laughs> I said, of course. Uh, so Margaret's taken me around Dublin and certainly taken me through the church in a wonderful way. Uh, 
it was, uh, I've been to Ireland about five times before, and uh, I've only seen the inside of my cousin's kitchens. I've never seen any of these sites. It's a nice country, you should go, really. <laughs> um, it was a wonderful time to see the parishes, parishioners from both churches come together and um, discover one another's blessings. It's been uh, an incredible honor to be your pastor, uh, to work with such great deacons and the lay ecclesial staff, and certainly uh, to be with my brother priest, uh, Father Carlos. Um, I wanna thank you for being good and holy people, um, because you've challenged me to grow in holiness myself. Um, we were given the name St. Junipero Serra because we're the only church in the Archdiocese to have two priestly vocations, Sean Yates and Larry Burrill, who are studying now. Uh, in addition, I was vocation director, so it's, it's a very nice compliment. But when in the future your children are getting married, you're never going to say, here's directions to St. Junipers. You're going to say, we're going to St. Margaret Mary's. It's, that's what we do, because we're Catholic. We're into tradition. And you um, continue the tradition. I'm sure you give Father Baranowski a warm welcome. I've known him for 20 years, and uh, he's closer to retirement than I am. Lucky him. Uh, so I think this might be his last stop. Uh, so he'll move in for a while. Uh, having been transferred five times in two years, I, I never am quite ready to settle down. Um, but I did settle down here. So I told uh, Father Carlos, you know, if there's anything you want from my room before I go, you better, you know, take it before the new pastor shows up because he'll take it. He said, sure. So I come in last night, turn on the lights, everything was gone. <laughs> if you need me, I'm at the Motel 6. <laughs> but uh, you are indeed blessed to have Father Baranowski and Father Carlos. Last evening, try and relax. He says, we'll go see a movie, we'll go see a movie. So what do we go see? But uh, what was it called? The something of Arthur? King Arthur? Rey Arturo. What? El Rey Arturo. Yeah, they're Arthur the King. His name is Carlos Arturo Castrillon. So it's Charles Arthur. So we come out of the movie and he's walking through the lobby saying, I am Arthur, I am Arthur. <laughs> Well, I think until you get used to Father Baranowski, he is king. 